it's another magnificent day and another opportunity to be grateful. I knew today was going to be my lucky day because a bird shit on my shorts. I packed my snorkel in my mask this morning. My intention was to go and have a little hunt around underneath this pier. The moana was a little bit turbulent and nice and cool. There's some pretty good looking oysters under here. Bloody needs a knife. Yes, legends. Two rows. The young fellas that I met a couple of days ago were back and they were helping me out. One of them had a knife, but it just wasn't doing the mahi. The oysters are stuck on there really, really hard, but we got one off. Next time I come back, I'll bring her like a screwdriver or something. That's a purebred Phillip Island cow's oyster, oyster with some purebred Phillip Island local cows boys. Get that in ya. A little bit of shell never hurt anyone, eh? Bit tangy. Yeah. Uh, ended up having an awesome morning with the young brothers. Bombs, wheelies, and some good yarns. Do you lads want to share anything to all the thousands of viewers out there in the world? Um, respect each other. Follow your dreams. Never let anyone talk you down for anything. I like men. See ya. See you guys later. <laughs> After those extremely inspirational quotes from the young brothers, it was time to head to the office and do some mahi, drink some chili choc chai, and eat my breakfast. I still haven't been able to fix my laptop. There's no computer shop on the island. In the meantime, we're just gonna use what we have and let the vlogs roll on. about 2 30 in the afternoon and we're gearing up because i am taking you fellas for a dive pack the float boat tie the spear gun to the bike get the weight belt on and we're ready to rock are you ready to sweat Let's go. <laughs> <Yee. laughs> oh shit. Malfunction. Malfunctions. Malfunctions. <clears throat> All right. Epic jump, eh? <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Now that was a mission funny. Before we get into the moana, I want to make a massive shout out to the brother Alden for letting me have that bike. He just gave that bike to me funny. So shout out to you brother Mauriora.
ki nga mihi aroha maudor Finally made it to the Moana and I couldn't wait to get that weight belt off. <laughs> Unpacked our gears, got changed and we're into the ocean. Greeted with beautiful conditions. Right, we're out. Uh, the visibility is not too bad. There's a little bit of movement around, but nothing too serious. Let's go and explore, see what we can find. I made my way out to the weed edge because this is a likely spot where you're gonna find a variety of different kinds of fish. get down to the bottom and don't see much at first but then I notice one of my favorite tasty fish. See that goat fish? I think we'll uh, I think we'll try and take that tasty little goat fish home for dinner. Let's go. Goat fish are usually pretty bold and will hang around one area so I was quite confident that when I went back down I would find him, but he just disappeared. Okay, we were down there looking for that goat fish and I just seen this funky looking sharp cross with a stingray with spikes and fins looking thing down there. Let's go have a look, closer look at it, eh? And then I ended up finding another one. And just as I was filming this one, who should turn up but Mr. Goatfish. So I played my call, took my time, and waited for him to come back. Ah, mihi aroha. And then I thanked my bro. Shark ray. <laughs> if you know the name of that fish or that species, please leave it in the comments. But we went down to have a look at that shark ray, and lo and behold, Mr. Goatfish was right there. So thank you, Ngāmi Hiroha Te Moana. We got our dinner for tonight. Beautiful, fresh ika. Yum. Whoa! That big mama stingray's back. I don't know if it's the same one, but it's a big one. As you can tell, I'm super stoked and excited. I 
I manage to catch my breath and head down to share space with this powerful being. take my time and I slowly descend, keeping an eye on where she is, and I sit and I just wait for it to come to me, as she slowly just glides past, I give her a wave. Beautiful dark skin on her back, but a white belly. It's such a awesome feeling to be in the presence of these ancient creations. I went back down to have a look for some fish and she came shooting in to have another look. So I gave her a wave and she waved back. <laughs> really big fat whiting down there so I'm thinking I might try to get one of those and then that's enough for our dinner tonight and then we'll just have a quick look around but we won't take too long because we've got to get back on the bike and head back to the whare so let's go down on the bottom you can just make out the silhouette of these slender pipe like fish not the easiest target on the spear gun so you have to really wait be patient until they come close enough to give Thank you an you. opportunity Thank you. there we have it whanau whiting beautiful delicious eating fish sharp teeth on them look it's gonna go really nice with our dope fish for dinner we got our we got our two eka very happy that's not too much to carry on the bike back home. Let's go. Just got to the fish and this is the row from the whiting. And my energy levels are pretty low. And I just had this thought pop into my mind, eat that row, give you some sustenance, give you some energy to bike back home. Mauri ora. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful energy. Here we go. Let's start the Hikoi home. Ooh. 
Ooh, feeling it. I'm feeling it. Come on. That's good. Home stretch, run it. Home stretch. Oh, blessed. It's kai time, no mucking around. I'm gonna get the fillets off these fish, coat them in a bit of flour, and whack them through the toasty maker. And then we're just gonna make some sandwiches because I'm starving and need to put some energy into my tinana. Let's go. So we started by filleting this beautiful whiting. Halfway through it, I realized maybe I should have just cooked it whole because it was a little bit of a mission to get those little fillets off, but all good. Then we moved on to Mr. Goatfish. So stoked for this fish. I really, really love goatfish. Crumbed goatfish is probably my favorite. Whip the fillet off that. Skinned them. Coated in a little bit of flour. Chucked it in the toasty maker with some beautiful butter. Chopped up my sandwiches, onions, cheese, tomato, and can't forget the pickles. Oh, yes. Let's go. I was absolutely starving at this stage. I had the only kai I had had all day was my breakfast. In the toasty maker they go for one last press and then it's kai time. Oh yes, look at that. Mm. Mmm, looking reka. Mmm. I'm going to close the vlog with a drone shot of the moana today thanks for coming along for the ride whanau it's been a massive day i'm gonna get stuck into this kai and then start video editing so that this can drop tomorrow don't forget like share and subscribe